next will be um, agency nurses. Okay. So, for those um, who work in a hospital, it is very popular for them to do travel nursing, either travel nursing or local travel. But for some of you who doesn't know, agency nurses or sort of PRN, or it's a PRN actually, PRN nursing exists as well. Agency nurse, um, they are very popular in SNF nursing homes, in patient rehab. They call agency nurse but it's basically like a local travel nurse the difference is that um, agency nurse doesn't require a contract like you are not bounded to do a 13 week contract assignment it is like an uber eats like there's an app or they have like um, a platform or a specific chat that they will just open your shift and you will just pick up shift at any time at any day so it's like a peer in nursing um, but not you're not bound to any facilities meaning you're not employed by the organization or the facilities but you can just pick up um, shift with them okay the pros for this is of course higher pay they can get because they have this beating shift that they call so sometimes say okay for an example um, rehab so this rehab say um, they don't have staff to cover for the specific shift and then they will open it for their own peer and staff if they have a peer and staff so most of the organizations or most of the facilities either hospitals rehab nursing homes inpatient rehabs all of them has their own PRN staff PRN staff is just you work for a certain say it depends on what organization so some organization um, only requires you to work like two shift in a certain weeks or two or three shift in a period of six weeks or once a month so that's the period meaning you just pick up shift but you don't have any benefits because you just pick up but you are still employed by the organization or the facilities okay that's the prn staff but if you're an agency nurse it's like a prn staff but you are not employed by the organization or the facilities next will be um you can get extra shift right so um mostly those who are doing agency nurse or doing prn nurse they have full-time um job with any organizations and then they just do PRN, PRN um, nursing or agency nursing to pick up extra shift so that's the extra shift okay the another pros will be um, you can still be with your family so you're you will not go anywhere you can just stay with your home you can just pick nearby facilities or anywhere in your state okay um, flexibility another pros will be the flexibility is that if you want say if you're free you don't do anything and you just want to to pick extra shift then you can do at any time or if you are planning to have some vacation and you need some extra money you can just do an extra shift okay at any time so say if you're not feeling well to work on that day you don't need to because you have the option you have the freedom to choose when and where you want to work that's the good thing about it okay and lastly the pros is no contracts you're you are not even bound to a contract for say um, travel nursing requires you to work 13 weeks of assignment for PRN or agency nurse you don't need to there's no contracts you just need to pick up shift cons 
Cons is the beating. So there are still beating because you are not just the only staff of that agency, okay? So example, this facility uh, number one, they open two staff for this facility for a different shift. And of course, this um, agency has a lot of um, nurses under that agencies. They will open that shift and there, there will be bidding on who's going to get it first. That's the con. I would say, why did I mention that it's like a negative? Because for me, what I've experienced because I'm under agency and I've experienced about that most of the time they will open it not ahead of time say so I have two agency agencies and one of it it's always open say for a week length they always have an open shift and you can just pick pick up shift at any time for like a week ahead but th there are some agencies, I have another agencies that only um, open shift for like a day before or the same day. And that's what I don't like because um, I am not a type of nurse that, um, that can work like in an instant say um, I check on the app and then I'm going to check. Um, for any open shift and I only usually see that there's none and then say in the afternoon it will be open and I don't like that I mean I don't like any um, urgent open shift okay I want it ahead of time um, so yeah that's what I don't like beating okay beating because you need to like wait who, who will get the shift and also when when will that shift open okay next will be shift usually opens in a small window as I've mentioned again earlier they don't usually open the shift right away so sometimes it's within the day sometimes just a minute like if you check in the morning there's no open shift and then if you check like say noontime they're gonna be open shift but it's like too late because the open shift for that day shift I, don't, I really don't like that <laughs> okay next will be no orientation so for the agency there's no orientation they're just gonna tell you that this is you know the usual tour they're gonna still give you that but they will not give you any orientation at all like in the hospital now sample agencies for agency nurse or peer in nurse nursing are shift key shift med connect rn afc and again just like travel nursing there's a lot of agencies out there you just need to like look and research what is the best agencies for you oh and then there's another game there's a lot of agencies actually because again i've been there <laughs> all right i've been there and um there's really a tons of agencies and you just really need to like um look for you for what is best fit for you okay so i only have currently i only have two <laughs> to um agency nurse uh agency for prn and then i have two travel nursing agencies but i never pick up for that travel agents for that travel agencies my personal experience or preference um first why i didn't go for travel nursing or why i might not accepting any contracts for travel nursing why i opted to be as a staff um first i want a proper orientation and i don't think i am well equipped or skilled enough to be so independent um i have not had much of exposure for a different kind of scenarios 
um, to be able to be so um, independent, to be away in the States or to have no one. I am a type of person that I want somebody or I want to have a friend um, in a unit because and I don't like to be away from my family that's the number one actually so I really can't afford to be away from my kid from my family so sometimes you will just think that well you can just work for a couple of assignments and then you can just um, take up take a vacation or off for like a couple of weeks so it's just the same so I mean um, if you're if you, if you always stop working just to be with your family then you're really not gaining extra money because you are just balancing everything but if that is working for you then go ahead but it's just for me i i don't like to or i can't afford to miss every single day or every um every moment of my family it's just i'm really a family person so i really can't i can't be away from them not even the the local travel i can't go or i i don't want to drive like 50 miles or even within 50 miles i just can't okay and i don't like to have different policies to learn um like go over different policies again learn different um policies and procedures of hospitals meeting new people again so i am really not that kind of person so i don't think that it will work for me okay why i just chose agency nurse because i have the independence to choose when and where i want to work and i can choose if the rate is getting higher from this place than the other place so you can always compare um, the rates for different agencies you can always have different agencies and for being prn or agency nurse you can always have or you can always be in your own home and with your family without being away um and also it's not too hard um orientation wise you don't need to have much of orientation because um because most of the agency nurse only have the inpatient rehab um skilled nursing facilities and nursing homes oh yeah by the way clarifications for agency nurses they don't have peer in agency nurse agency nurse for hospitals mostly agency nurses are for inpatient rehab sniff or skilled nursing facilities and then nursing homes home health is another way but they don't have um agency nurse or prn for hospitals because of course hospitals wants to have um a long week of assignments instead of a prn or pick up shift okay um for local travel nursing and travel nursing those mostly are for hospitals and yeah so that's the difference again one more time um also i'm gonna uh share with you on my next videos um about inpatient rehab because i have learned something about inpatient rehab and inpatient rehab is different from sniff or skilled nursing facility or nursing homes um so stay tuned and wait for that video okay it's a very interesting discussion about inpatient rehab okay back to the um agency nursing um yeah so you are not bounded of any contract and again you will still undergo interviews drug testing mm, vaccination medical etc so again you will always undergo those different kind of 
um, requirements on each agencies okay so the more agencies you apply the more of those kind of requirements you need to fulfill or comply okay so I'm going to share with you later the sample of how it looks like um, if you will like be in an agency nurses appearing and as a travel nursing usually in a travel nursing they will just give you a, a list of um, different assignments and um, with agency nurses they have some of them most of them have apps that you can um, see a list of um, pick up shifts or open shift that you can pick up uh, so there yeah so for me again personal um, preference I am bound or I am under different agencies um, travel nursing and the peering agencies but I never pick up travel nursing assignments or contract assignments um, I tried picking up in appearing um, agencies and that would that works for me well than being in a contract assignment like a 13 weeks because what if the hospital or the unit that I will accept in a contract you will need to stay there for 13 weeks and you can just like say quit or because just you don't like it you have to like comply for that 13 week okay and again um the extension is not your own decision it can be but you have to wait for your hospital to offer the extension for you but if they didn't offer any extension you cannot just um tell them that you want to extend in their facility so um again the job stability they can always terminate but they st always need staff anyways okay so for me again being prn is more feasible for me or um, it works for me and my family better than being in travel nursing and i don't mind i don't mind getting much comparing a travel nursing because i can still get um higher rate with prn agencies agency nursing okay so hopefully i was able to like give you a glimpse or enlightenment about the world of travel nursing prn or agency nursing and again as a nurse we have a lot of opportunities so you have all these um opportunities that you can choose so don't be bound with just one okay so that's all guys um i just want to shout out co family um chino and carlo ho they, they, they are my friends from the philippines in one of the the bpo world and yeah with their family they're they're both from illinois now hello to you guys yeah so again um stay tuned for the inpatient rehab that i'm gonna share with you for the next video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell for you to be notified on my next video so thank you guys and have a good night bye